Okay, so today it's another really nice calm day at the lake. It's beautiful, it's perfect. And we're gonna take out DJI again. <clears throat> and uh, today I wanted to talk about one of the cool things about owning a drone. Even though it's uh, strange times and a lot of people don't like them. It is very therapeutic for some people to just have a drone in a sea. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Really great. Especially, I would say, if you get yourself one of these DJI minis. Nothing quite beats the experience of just getting something in the air and getting a nice view from the sky. It's a little bit like flying, it's a little bit like being a bird. Let's see. There were some birds right here. Just not sure if I'm high enough to get them on, on the camera right now but it's just so relaxing just the feeling of it there's something that you've got that is controllable again depends on what you buy right if you buy something like the DJI Mini 2 right now it's relatively relatively inexpensive compared to what you um, what most people can afford and it just gives you so much so much freedom it's one of the things that i love about it it's just like you've got yourself your own personal little hawk in the sky and um, so long as you don't use it incorrectly or so long as you don't abuse it It is just phenomenal what you can do with these things. And every day is just more and more fun as you progress and your skill level gets better. Now a lot of people are just obsessed with trying to get into FPV, um, which is fantastic. I love it too but it is a little bit more stressful <laughs> I gotta tell you so for some people this is good enough you know getting a stable relaxed and nice shot of wherever you're going or wherever you decide to go on vacation you can take this little thing with you um, so long as you don't have to board a plane. If you have to board a plane, then it becomes troublesome. But so long as you don't have to board a plane, this thing is fantastic. And again, you don't need to get the most amazing camera if you're not a professional. That's one thing that I try to stress so much is sometimes these companies are catering um, all of their, I had the same issue with um, Horizon Hobby, and they've, they've changed the way that they do things now, which is awesome. Because by creating something like the, uh, the granite, I think it's called the, the, the Arma Granite or something, which I, which I bought, which is fantastic now, I call it the, um, the Captain Drones Mobile. Um, you're allowing, you're allowing more people to get into the hobby, which is which is fantastic now. And now they've expanded it to more of their vehicles. I think I can't tell you exactly what the names of the things are, but there I think there's a drift truck now, and some more of the other trucks, which are really cool. Um, that you can now purchase. And they're all around $200, same as, you know, like one of those 
FPV kits that you could buy, which is also really cool. I love those Beta FPV Cetus, and the Iron Quad was the one that I got, so it was before it became Cetus. Uh, but all those are really, really cool. And you see, with these kind of drone, you will not get the sort of fancy slanted, the fancy slanted shots, but you can get some really good pictures. And uh, I mean, DJI's put a very decent camera on something like the Mini 2. So unless you are a professional, you may not really notice so much difference between you know this one and some of the other things. I think it's better to just dive into something small when you're when you're starting off, which is not bad. Something like this rather than jumping into something really expensive right away. And this is a good this is a good starting point for somebody who wants to uh, get themselves a drone that is fantastic. One of my gripes with these is that even when you're flying in cine mode, because they've got three different modes, they've got cine mode, normal mode, and sports mode. I think out of the box, this thing in cine mode should, should yaw way more gently for beginners than what it does currently, at least when I bought it. I don't know if they've done any special updates, uh, but on my latest phone when I when I use it I noticed that it just does not yaw and I did use some advanced settings from another youtuber uh, because they're obviously way way better than me at this stuff so I used their settings which improved it significantly but still not quite enough I mean in, in normal mode right you, you switch it you want to be able to go faster so you can get to a location or sport mode but in cine mode, at least maybe make it more user friendly. Um, I think it was Joshua Bartle that talked about curves and different kinds of curves and how adding like, I think it was something called like Expo or something could make a big difference in the way that uh, beginners experience this whole thing so as you can see here right now I wanted to do a turning shot that was a pretty good turning shot but I wanted to turn like this and I was already turning like this because I wasn't looking at the camera uh, so if you want to do a fast jerky thing fine uh, but sometimes you don't want to do that and it's just very difficult to keep it this gentle like watch how gentle I'm going now you're able to do this, but it's not easy to do that while controlling the drone. Um, it takes a lot of practice. I've been practicing a lot to be able to do this. And again, most people will have a faster learning curve than me. I, I'm one of the slowest people at learning things. So I just have to try harder than everyone else to get it done. But eventually I got it, so that's pretty good there can get this nice slow flight over here and then it can lift up and over and if we wanted to we could do this while gimbaling it down if we wanted to for instance like that and we could get some pretty cool effects and then turn around like this I mean this is something awesome again as you see there for a second as I was doing something with the gimbal in the rotation I started losing control of the sticks on the left while making that turn it was no longer as smooth as I would have liked so all these things take a lot of practice but they're totally worth learning to do we're about 37 percent battery as you can see that is amazing I've just spotted some birds over there circling over the houses over there I'm not sure if we can see that at all on camera it would be amazing if we could um, let me see if we can do F and zoom and then what is that all the way 
I think that's four is, is the max at the current time. Climb up and turn a little bit to the left here. Let's see if we can see any of those birds. I think there's there's a few still up there, but I cannot tell if they are visible at all on camera. That is one of the problems that you do get when you're using an iPhone. That's why they created um, the latest and greatest remote control. I'm going to go a little bit higher up. To see if you guys can see any of those. There is a lot of birds out there right now. I'm just not no not sure if you guys can see any of them. I can definitely see them with a naked eye, but they might not be visible to you. Anyway, I don't want to be that close to people's buildings, so I'm gonna come back around this way and slowly down. We'll do another nice pass of those rocks over there. That's pretty cool. Twenty-eight percent battery, so we can only do one small pass, and then we should get this bird down and change out the battery at the very least um, to avoid potential crashes. This thing tends to fall out of the sky around. Um, I think I discovered it's about twelve percent, but I'm not even gonna try that. So I'm going to just land it here. Landing. Perfect. I'm just going to land it here real quick. We could change out that battery real quick and go out one more time. I was trying to do some tracking with birds this morning, but it just did not really work out for me so that was unfortunate battery replaced and we should get signal very soon it's pretty seamless pretty seamless and if you think about it just finish the flight throw in another battery and we're up and running we currently don't have visual okay there we go. we've got visuals awesome and look how quickly it's picked up all the satellites and uh, I think we've got satellites at the very least but it's just so so stable this thing that I don't have to worry about anything. take off I'm back up in the air no problem and you can the only thing you will find annoying is the constant updates and the unlocking of this the home point has been updated please can, check it on the map if you can get around that if you can get used to that then you know it'll be hunky dory it'll be hunky dory so yeah as i said before there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this drone it goes really really low to the to the water but not too low because you don't want to touch the water but if you knew how close I was to the water you'd be freaking out you'd be freaking out how close I am to the water right here it's really close um, so. it's so close that you can see underneath it's creating um, It's basically moving the water on a turn. 
scale of 1 to 10 how risky is this very risky for your drone <laughs> very risky for your drone but hopefully I've got enough skill that I can do this safely and if not I will lose the drone forever <laughs> which would really suck because this is as I said before some people who don't know the channel will think that I am a DJI hater um, because sometimes they'll say some most ridiculous things but it is comedy guys it is comedy it is comedy but look how cool this is you can go over uh, I tried to do this yesterday with Red Cat Racing and we were not getting the best out of it oh we've got we've got company here finally there is a bird a real bird in the water I'm not sure if she or he is visible at the current time but I was trying to find one that I could use to track but we tried one of those birds before and they turned out to be um, too dark for the for the camera to pick it up so that was the issue we were having there that's the problem we were having there So again, you can get some of those shots that you can get with FPV uh, if you fake it kind of with with these drones by going fast and, and doing stuff. But you won't get all of the stuff that you can do with FPV because you're not going to get flips and rolls with this kind of drone and um, that's not what it's, what it's for. The Avada is capable of doing that stuff, but again it is not as good as some of the other ones simply because of the way that it's that it's made it's uh, a cine whoop as they say cine whoop it cinematically whoops you <laughs> a cine whoop anyway i wish i could have done this i was trying to do this yesterday with Red Cat Racing, but the leads, the leads had some issues, as they usually do, and those issues were too messed up, um, so I was not able to do what I really wanted to. So there we go. You can't win all the time, and sometimes you can't win at all, but. That's fine. Let's go take another trip underneath the bridge. Got 80% battery, so plenty of battery to do whatever we want, really. If I wanted to, the cool thing is I could even, let's see if I've got the prowess. Uh, we'll, we'll go underneath the bridge first. And then if I've got the skills, I might go and cross the street. I might try that thing that I did last time where I tried to land across the street for myself. See if I have the the guts, the guts to do it today because you need stones of steel to be able to do that. I could do it easily with an FPV drone because I could see very well where I am. And in this particular case, I should be able to do it as well because I will demonstrate I'll be able to see myself from the location where I'm going. And I'm not sure, maybe we could go underneath the metal. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe it's not the best thing to try. Maybe we can go underneath. There are some metal chains over there. And yeah, you can go underneath the metal chains. The DJI Mini is just that capable. Which is unbelievable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> oh, that was bad. But it'll be okay. Unfortunately, one of the issues that you run into is you don't have turtle mode. So now I have to cross the bridge to go over there. So, yeah. <laughs> As I said before, <clears throat> 
don't try this at home, kids. That is what happens when you try to do something that is clearly beyond your level of skill. So, we'll go find it, and that'll be it for the live today. That'll be it for the live today. But anyway, let's go on a little tour here. What we can do is switch out of that and go into filmage mode. Go filmage mode. And the drone ended up over there, across there. So we'll just go over there real quick and get it. We'll just go get it. Maybe we'll try this again tomorrow, or maybe we'll try it later and see if it's doable, but clearly that was not the best idea. I'm not sure what the propellers would look like, but it didn't fall in the water, and that is, that is a silver lining right there, guys. The real silver lining is that it did not fall in the water. I just have to see how far it went. Looks like it went just there. There it is. I see it in the corner. It is right there in the corner. Now, did it land on its motors or not? We'll have to see if it landed on its motors or not. We'll have to go check it out. Let's see what happens. We heard a horrible sound and then it went down. Let's see if there was any damage. Any damage at all? Or it's just fine. Let's go see. So, we'll take a look at it real quick. A few scuff marks, but nothing, nothing serious, so it should, it should fly no problem. Let's see. Okay. Hope this thing is still recording. Let's double check that it's still recording because that would be a problem if it wasn't. Okay, great. So, just going through the, the motions, guys. Going through the motions was what just happened. The end. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it and on the map. Notice how resilient this drone is. Before I put it over the water, I'm going to let it hover for a second to make sure that it is responding correctly to all the functions. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It is perfectly level, so none of the motors had issues. And there we go. So I can do the same thing that I did before. You can notice that I am right here. And I'm going to take it up a little bit. Okay, I'm right here. So what I'm going to do now is I will land somewhere where I'm, I'm sure that I can land this time because I'm not really far from it. And there's no obstacles in the way, which is what you, you should do. What we learned right now, kids, is that you don't want to try to use the DJI Mini 2 or any of the other drones that... Um, do not have obstacle avoidance to go underneath chains. Chains is a bad idea. <laughs> Clearly chains is a bad idea. We're not going to do that again. But if you wanted to land here, let's say, let's say I'm just a little bit further out. Let's make sure that you know how far you are from the ledge there. I am too far away from the ledge. I'm still too far away from the ledge. Come forward. Go to the left a little bit. Let's try to avoid that poop that's there and we can put the landing down. There. Look how easy that was. No problem whatsoever because no chains were in the way. Um, 
I will, however, try going underneath the chains one more time to show you something interesting. And take we'll off take that risk because I'm right in front the of the home drone. point of has been updated. Please check it on the map. Hands up on the rocks. <laughs> Hands up on the rocks. Further down a little bit more. So you won't be able to go underneath the chains. And the reason why is the sensor underneath the drone does not allow it to go far enough down for you to be able to go underneath the chains. And I didn't realize that where I was on the other side. So the DJI sensor does not allow you to go low enough without engaging the, the land procedure. And so don't do that. Same thing could be done over here. If you have plenty of space, there are no chains. I can look at myself over here, no problem. Plenty of space in which to head, left and right, up and down. And we could land, no problem. Just Landing. like so. It's perfectly safe. Um, so, we can now lift off once again. Shabam and take I'm off. Just end the home point guys. has been updated. Please check it as on the always, map. Oh, as always, it is a pleasure to make these videos for you guys every day. And hopefully, something that we learn here today is don't try to land and go through the chains. That is really stupid. The sensor does not allow you to go any further down than it is doing right now. Let's see if I can do a Giovanni Giorgio. I have not tried to do a Giovanni Giorgio with this drone before. If we press the land, let's see. Landing. I landed it in Giovanni Giorgio style, no problem. So, so long as you don't put your hands in the way of the um, propellers, you should be fine. I was lucky today and really no damage on anything. The motors are still all functioning as they should. The propellers didn't really take much damage at all. And um, I'm going to consider this a win today. I'm going to consider this a win. And I guess I'll see you guys all in the next one, guys. <clears throat> I hope that today was calming because I know that there's been a lot of a lot of craziness going on these days with um, voting and <laughs> and Elon Musk and um, what was it? The Battle of the Titans. The Battle of the Titans between Elon Musk and uh, Mark Zuckerberg. We don't know who, which which office style is going to be the style that wins but anyway i'll see you soon in in real flight so take care guys